All right, 712 now. Laughter, the best medicine, can make you healthy, keep you healthy, maybe even restore your health. No one knows this better than our guests here today. We have on your far right there, Tracy Gamer Fanning. She's the president of the Connecticut Brain Tumor Alliance and a survivor herself. Welcome. Yes, thank you. And smiling. I know it's been laughing a lot smiling. during the break. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. We also have Tracy Wilson. Mm -hmm. You are a comedian. Mm -hmm. And also we have Bertha Mason. How are you? I'm, I, I could have sworn you were Mrs. Doubtfire. Well, I get that a lot. You know, just because we dress the same doesn't mean we're the same people. It was the pie. Oh, yeah, you know, you got to have a good pie. And these are blueberries because they're healthy and they're full antioxidant. Superfood. Oh, super yes, food. that's right. How do you think Ant I got healthy? Antioxidants are, are, are cancer repellent, aren't they? They are. But now, Tracy, tell us yes. a bit about your illness and how humor has been integral in your recovery. You know what? Uh, um, I've had brain cancer for six and a half years. I'm a six and a half year fighter because I can't say survivor yet. Yeah. Um, I live with my tumor, and um, I've been through radiation, and I've been through the works. You name it. It's been an interesting six and a half years. But I will tell you something. Um, Yes, I have that scary disease, something yeah. that people whisper, like, oh, my God, at least it's not brain cancer. It sounds very scary. It's, yeah. And it is very scary. Sure, of course. But my goal was, when I got it, I really thought it was going to be like getting breast cancer. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to come out and be surrounded in this pink blanket and wear pink ribbons and walk in pink races and eat yogurt with pink tops. And when you walk out with brain cancer, people don't know how to react. Yeah. And I thought, well, that's just a shame. Because I want to eat cancer yogurt, and we, I want to. We all want cancer yogurt. We all want yogurt. cancer yogurt. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have, I have, yes, I have brain cancer, and yes, I've been through brain radiation, and I live every day like it's my last. I yeah. love every day of my life. What a wonderful attitude. And I treat people. I give. I do jokes all the time of people because you can when you have brain cancer. Yeah. Nobody's gonna say, "Ooh, that's inappropriate," <laughs> when you have a brain tumor. Gotcha. I think it's, if I've seen you. I've heard you. Laugh. And I've heard you smile. I've seen you smile and heard you laugh more this morning than a lot of people do all day. Bertha, talk with me or talk with all of us about how important humor is. Well, I believe that you can laugh at anything. You know, I think that it's a. It's like your endorphins get going. You get all excited. And what I believe, if you got the diabetes, if you got the cancer, it doesn't matter. You just bury it deep inside, and then you roll it out <laughs> into a pie crust and eat it. You share that around. People enjoy. They smile. They laugh. They get a little pie. It's very healing. Yeah. Okay. And 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 this other Tracy, Tracy Wilson, talk yes, about. Hi. Uh, yeah. So do you th do you think that humor can actually help heal? Oh, I think it's it's critical, and we all know that laughing promotes endorphins in your body, helps you heal. And it's funny, you know, earlier Tracy was talking. We met in the green room, green room earlier, and we were having a blast, just actually telling jokes about her illness and talking about her life. And so it seems weird that we're sitting here. And I'm like listening to her stories, and I have this huge smile on my face, and the audience is like. Look at that other woman. Look at that woman. She's like smiling and laughing at the one with brain cancer. But you know what? It's because it is about sharing your stories and finding the humor in it, and yeah. that makes it easier for everybody to cope. And we have a good, it's and you have such smiling. a good time with it. It's about enjoying every day. When I, mm -hmm. I talk to patients every day yeah. who have brain cancer, that's I started the Connecticut Brain Tumor Alliance with my friends, and what I tell them is, when you've been given a life expectancy the only thing you should expect is more life. Hmm. And everybody a has a point. choice on how to live it. I choose to live it what every a to think of day. It. Can I, by the way, and then not to cut off, but even during the break, as I'm walking over here, they're telling each other dirty jokes. And I'm thinking, you got, you're way ahead of us. <laughs> you well, have just, no idea what to expect from <laughs> this segment, did you? you can't say those well, on the air Remember that tumor is just one letter away from humor. Yes. <laughs> See, they made you think there, too. Yes, you Do you did. like that? But, but what, is, what are some jokes you can tell? Or How some... many cancer patients does it take to <laughs> screw in a light bulb? <laughs> I don't know. How many, Bertha? It takes one, but then you need to have a whole support group to help them through it. I like it. <laughs> Do you guys see that? That's comedy right there. Hey, <laughs> fat. We're oh, killing oh, it. Oh, we too are soon. Killing it. Too we soon are to bring up it. killing. <laughs> no one talks about that on Sunday morning, do they? People are waking up right now going, what are we watching? You know what they thought it was? They thought it was going to be the gardening show about tubers. So yes, they're thinking, they oh, it's about potato salad. That's what they're thinking right now, not tumors. You know, it was funny. When you asked us to come on and do yeah. the segment and we found out what time it was going to be on, I thought, who is going to be watching this in that early in the morning? And then I realized I would be watching it yeah. at this hour in the morning. So to all my friends out there, thank you for waking up and thank you for laughing with us. And I have to tell you, I would like all your 
all your viewers to come join us on May 16th. The Connecticut Brain Tumor Alliance is having a Laughter on the Brain event mm -hmm. at City Steam in Hartford, and Bertha is going to be our MC. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. The hostess with the most is. We are going to make people laugh because that is the most important thing on keeping yourself physically and mentally healthy, laughing and coming together no matter what your circumstances are. Fantastic. So please go to www.ctbta. I'm talking to you too because I, I expect you to go buy <laughs> tickets. I, yes. No pressure. Um, and then join, you us, join us in laughing and join us in celebrating right life. Right on. And um, you'll be hearing a lot of comedians and you'll be seeing Bertha. And I'm auctioning off my pie. So if you want a taste of my pie. Might be a little bit dated by them, but that's <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, I'll make a fresh that's, one. Okay, very good. Well, you guys, thank you for coming up all oh, the way from New you. York uh, mm -hmm. overnight. Really appreciate that. And, of course, Tracy, thanks for coming. And congratulations thank and you. continued great health to you. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to move right along. But you go, you were way ahead of me with the event and the, and the website. So thank you Bring very it. much for getting that <laughs> all in there. All right, moving along. I think we're going to head over and visit with Sam. Yes, we are. Uh, hey, good healthy weather, too. I mean, he's way over there. That's why I'm looking over there. <laughs> right? Over there. Hi, Sam. <laughs> this is, this is a good day to get outside and enjoy your health and enjoy the weather, right? Uh, yeah, it definitely is. 